everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Sinead and today I'm going to be showing you how to make three of my favorite healthy energy bites if you're not familiar with what an energy bite is it is essentially a date and a nut based snack ball that you can tailor to suit your own taste they're so versatile, I eat them before the gym, I eat them after the gym, I eat them for study fuel, when you're writing a dissertation like I need to be doing now. And they're even lovely in the evenings with a cup of tea. Without further ado, let me show you my three favorite recipes. Probably my favorite, raw chocolate energy bites. Okay guys, all your ratios are here on screen and also in the description box below. You're gonna need sunflower seeds, dates, cacao nibs, cacao powder, water, vanilla extract, salt, and some coconut for rolling. Next, you wanna pop your sunflower seeds and your dates into your food processor. Pop that lid on nice and tight and blend until it comes together nicely. Add your cacao powder and your vanilla extract and also at this point, add some water if your mixture is not sticky enough. Pop your lid back on and blend until it all comes together nicely. At this point, you're gonna to want to add your cacao nibs and just pulse them in. It's perfectly fine to scrape down the sides of the bowl and give them a good mix. Next, I'm gonna grab an ice cream scoop and shape the mixture into nice, evenly sized balls. Dunk them in your coconut, mix it around, and then pop them on your plate. Delicious! Peanut butter and coconut energy bites. For your peanut butter and coconut bites, the recipe is so simple, you won't believe how good they taste. You'll need dates, porridge oats, smooth or crunchy peanut butter, some shredded coconut, some water, and of course, coconut for rolling. Using the same method, add all your ingredients to your food processor, this time at the same time. This is by far the easiest recipe to do, and personally, I absolutely love it. Look at that peanut butter. This recipe can be a little bit more dry if you use baking dates like me, so add in enough water to bring it together into a nice paste. Again, that you can roll into evenly sized balls. Pull any extra away from the sides with your spatula and blend it up, adding water as necessary. You can roll the bites into any topping that you prefer. Personally, I just absolutely adore coconut. Take your ice cream scoop and repeat the same method as we did with our chocolate bites. Give them a really good coating in your coconut. Trust me, it tastes absolutely amazing. Pop them on your plate and voila! Peanut butter energy bites. If you love lemon, you love these. Blueberry and lemon energy bites. Our final blueberry and lemon energy bites have to be well up there with some of the most amazing easy snacks I've ever tried. You'll need cashew nuts, dates, dried blueberries, coconut, the juice and rind of a whole lemon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and some coconut and rind for rolling. For this recipe, you'll want to blend your cashew nuts and your coconut together first before adding any of the rest of your ingredients. You should end up with a really nice, fine, powdery consistency, something like this. And then you can add in your dates and your lemon juice, which acts as the liquid for this recipe. You can add water if you like and blend that together until it comes together in a paste. This recipe takes a little more blending than the others, so don't be afraid to pull down the sides. Add your vanilla extract, and also at this point, you can pulse in your dried blueberries. Pulsing them in just allows you to keep some of the shape of the blueberry, so there's a little bit more chew to the energy bite. For the final time, grab your topping, your plate, and grab your ice cream scoop. Press and roll them together into balls, coat them in your rind and coconut mixture, and voila, you have yourself a beautiful lemon and blueberry energy ball. Your energy balls last in the fridge for about a week, although in this house, they never last that long. You can also freeze them. 
that brings us to the end of the video, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed my three healthy recipes. If you recreate any of these recipes, please do tag me on my Instagram or on my Twitter. I'd absolutely love to see them and let me know how they taste as well. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.